Most of your Excel files probably have multiple sheets. In this case, I have seven sheets. In which order they are, that depends on in which order you created them. Usually you can move sheets around. If you want to know in which order they are now, you can right click there and you get the order of sheets. One through seven, I gave them numbers. So that is the original order. However, you cannot sort them alphabetically unless you know how to do that in Visual Basic. So we are going to do that in Visual Basic. Before we do that, we are going to make sure that we save the original settings of the file. So if we ever want the original setting back, we can do restore from settings and get the original back. If you want to sort them, that is our second subroutine, sort the sheets. I assign these three shortcuts to those three subroutines. Let's go to Visual Basic. Alt F11. And in module 1 of this project, I start at the subroutine file settings. I declare a variable of the long type, a counter. Then we use that variable to loop through one to the last sheet. So we go to the collection of sheets and count how many we have. In our case, one to seven. And then we save the settings, which is a subroutine, a method, that saves information in the registry. And it needs to know what is the application name, the active workbook dot name, in which section of the registry do you want to save this information? I'm going to call that sheets, that section. And then what, which key do you want to assign? Order one, two, three, four, seven. So order space ampersand space I. And what do you want to store in there? The name of the first sheet, the second sheet, and the last sheet. We close the for loop. And then we save also how many sheets did we have. For later on I have to loop through all this stored information, so I need to know what the count was. Again, the save setting this time, workbook.name, in that same section sheets, but this time under the name count, and we store the number i, but i minus 1, because it kept looping until i was not, was not the same as or less than the sheets count, so it is one too high at this moment once it comes out of the loop and we close our subroutine. That one will save the original settings or whatever the settings are at that moment. Then we create one that allows us to restore those settings if we want them back. We need a few more variables. The, the different one is S order open parenthesis closing parenthesis. That's going to be an array of sheet names, so it's of the string type. Then we set I count the variable to what the count was from the previous subroutine. We get the setting from the active workbook dot name in the section sheets and under the name count, the key is count, so we will get that number later on. Then we read them our variable of the array type and we rename it to i count minus one because this kind of arrays counts from zero to count minus one in this case from zero to six before in excel we did one to seven in this loop so we are going to loop through all the names that we have stored in the registry for i equals one to i count in the array as order i minus one remember strings are zero based whereas almost everything else in excel is one based sheet one row one column one and we get the setting this time from the key order and the number 
Okay. Then we loop backwards through that array because we are going to say give me the last one and then put the next to last one before the last one and the second to last one before the next to last one etc. So we loop backwards from i count to 1 with a step minus 1. And we move from the collection of sheets the one of the last array part before sheets 1. And we keep doing that until we reach the first one in the list and the first one will be moved before sheets 1 again. And we close the subroutine. Then we are going to sort the sheets. That is the third subroutine. We declare variables of three different types. You could ask the user, do you want to save the original order? I commented that section out, but then it would call the one that we said, file settings. And then we are going to loop again for all the sheets. From 1 to sheets count minus 1. Why? Because we are going to move them internally from position to position. So we take the name of the first sheet and we store that in S lowest. And then we do another loop for J equals I plus 1. The next one to sheets count. Do you see why the previous loop was count minus 1? And we are going to say if the sheets J name is less than S lowest, that means in an alphabetical order it is prior to that one, then S lowest has to be reset to sheets J name. And then we moved sheets S lowest before sheets I. And we close the outer loop. So we have an inner loop inside an outer loop. Then we could ask again with a message box, do you want to restore the original order? I commented that out, but then you would run restore from settings. So now that we have those three, I should be able to use them. At this moment, the order of sheets is from one to seven. We are going to save that order with the subroutine file settings and I gave that the shortcut Control shift f It stored the original order from 1 to 7. Now we are going to sort these sheets alphabetically with Control shift s And if I look now what order it is, it goes from D through T. You see the original order, the numbers at the end are messy now because it's in an alphabetical order. If you ever say I would like to go back to the original order, then we have to do Control shift r that is restore the original order, and they go again from 1 through 7. So this is a way to sort things alphabetically. Again, it is an important routine if you want them in an alphabetical order for whatever reason. Excel itself does not do it, but with VBA you can do almost anything you want, as long as you know how Excel VBA works. So I made a CD-ROM for you to show you how Excel VBA works. If you need more exposure to what Excel itself can do, I have an Excel CD-ROM expert, and for scientists I developed a CD-ROM and a book for specifically geared towards scientists. You can find all of this at genesispc.com.